Greetings adventurers, welcome back to another RPG a day 2021. I'm Eric UK and today's word or main prompt was supposed to be small but I couldn't think of anything for that so I've gone for one of the uh, lesser prompts which is inspiration. And I thought I would talk to you guys today about the things uh, that inspire my fantasy gaming. Primarily, my games are, I would say, based, not the right word, but primarily inspired by the works of Tolkien. I can already probably hear some gnashing of teeth and things like that, but, you know, bear with me. <laughs> Um, I've always been interested in things like monsters and fantasy and what have you, all the way back to being a kid. And one of the first um, fantasy films that I watched when I was probably really sort of getting into it, which was probably about eight or nine years old, was the original animated Lord of the Rings. And I fell in love with it. And I, uh, when it came on TV once, I actually went to see it at a, a, a cinema. Um, our local community centre actually had a showing of it, I think in somewhere around about 1983, something like that. And um, a few years ago, I found it on DVD. So it's in my collection. But when it came on television back in the 80s, I taped it on the old VHS. Um, and I used to watch it over and over and over again. Um, and I read Tolkien's books, um, specifically The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. It took me nearly 10 years from beginning to end to read The Hobbit. I actually found it really badly read. Um, and I managed to read The Fellowship of the Ring. And it wasn't until the um, Peter Jackson films came out, I actually bought the whole book, in three in one, big chunky omnibus, and actually sat down and read the entire thing. Um, very wordy. <laughs> But what he created, what Tolkien created, has really inspired my fantasy gaming. It's where I kind of base things in the background. I love the fact that it's a realistic um, sort of world, even though it contains fantastical elements. You know, intelligent civilizations, men and elves and dwarves and hobbits, they all live perfectly happy despite the fact that they're in a world that monsters exist and magic exists. And evil villains exist um, and it links together so very very well I've never really been a fantasy reader though I generally find that if I'm going to read a book it's probably going to be based on something I already enjoy um, so in my teens I was big into the D&D novels um, they're usually quite crap, but they um, fueled that love I, I was developing of the game. Um, but I could never really get into the likes of anyone else. I did try like David Gamble and a few others, but their their idea of fantasy kind of really wasn't mine. And as time went on, it became films that ultimately inspired my gaming more. Um, quite a few of them are in my DVD collection. Um, going back to things like um, Ray Harryhausen's Stock Motion, um, Jason the Argonauts and the various Sinbad movies. Um, so kind of as a, as a kid as a, and going into a teen, it kind of showed you that what a fantasy world could look like. In, your, in a book, you have it in your imagination. It's cool. Um, with a film, you've got it there in front of you. You can see it. Um, and in my head, it's kind of those sort of um, sequences are kind of how my mind's eye views a lot of um, combats and encounters and and how NPCs and PCs look in game. Um, then you get to things like um, Clash of the Titans and the like of that, where Harryhausen had a bigger budget and you could see you know exactly what was what. Um, 
and it's this sort of thing you know and obviously the peter jackson films are massive for me massive i know some people grumble about them and the fact that the hobbit shouldn't have been three films but hey we live with it um <laughs> but these inspire my games they give me ideas um for scenarios they give me ideas for characters npcs um even just scenes within a role-playing game and you can easily take films and use them um not just films but you know elements of books and you can use them in your games i mean i can remember a second edition ad and d game i ran for some friends um which was very much the um the princess has been captured the evil villain is holding her in his impregnable castle um, and you need to get in there, rescue her and get her out. And partway through the scenario, one of the players just suddenly sat up and went, hang on, this is Star Wars. <laughs> and without realising, I was like, yeah, actually, this is, you know, probably what some of I'd done had been inspired because of that film. Um, you know, you don't know. But... I work probably on a more visual basis. That's what inspires me. Probably why books don't do it so much. Um, I can see what somebody puts out on the screen. Um, and I can translate that in my head to any number of things in a role-playing game. And that's where my inspiration comes from a lot of the time. Taking something like that and running with it. Anyway... Um, just a quick vid, thank you for watching guys, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and uh, I look forward to seeing your comments below, and uh, other vids put out for 2021, RPG a day, 2021 I should say, um, until then, take care guys, and good gaming.